Hello and welcome to ITNs. So I hope you guys are enjoying these sessions, right? And you were uh, going, you were able to catch up with whatever sessions I have covered till now, right? All right. So as you might have seen in the previous sessions, uh, we have started uh, covering the database options in Microsoft Azure, right? Great. So in the last session, we covered about the Cosmos DB, and in this session, we are going to cover about the Azure's uh, SQL database. Uh, that uh, that is a service that provides uh, that is provided by Azure, right? So, what is Azure SQL Database? So, Azure SQL Database is the Microsoft's option to provide relational database as a service. Okay, so it is quite scalable and it's quite flexible uh, to deploy in the cloud. Um, and the best thing is you don't have to bother about uh, running the SQL, which will be like um, I mean, we, which you'll have to patch or upgrade. Nothing doing. It will be all vanished by Microsoft, so you don't have to bother about those things, right? So we are going to talk about the various features that is available with uh, Microsoft uh, Azure SQL Database, and then we are going to talk about the deployment models, some of the security components, and then we are going to uh, come conclude the sessions with the pricing model. All right? Great. I'll see you in the session then. Thank you. Welcome back to ITNs. So let's get started with the Azure SQL database, right? Great. Uh, let's start with the overview of Azure SQL database, right? So Azure SQL database is Microsoft service to provide general purpose relational database as a service, right? Azure SQL database is the intelligent, scalable relational database service built for the cloud. It is evergreen and always up to date with AI powered and automated features that optimize the performance and durability of your database. Serverless compute and hyperscale storage options automatically scale resources on demand so you can force focus on building new applications without worrying about storage size or resource deployment. Right? Great. Let's talk about the Azure SQL database features. Yeah. So it's fully managed and always with the latest version of secure uh, of uh, SQL. So it eliminates the complexity of configuring and managing high availability tuning backups and other database tasks with a fully managed SQL database. It helps in accelerating application deployment uh, and development on cloud with evergreen SQL using the latest SQL server capabilities and you never have to worry about updates, upgrades or in any of these end, end point supports. Hyperscale the most demanding workloads. So you might have faced application performance issues, right? I mean, due to the resource limitations, right? So how is this limitation that uh, you can overcome with Azure? Well, Azure SQL Database Hyperscale adapts to changing requirements by uh, rapidly scaling storage up to 100 TBs. So Azure SQL Databases are flexible cloud native architecture allows storage to grow as needed and enables nearly instantaneous backups and fast database restores in minutes regardless of the size of the data operation right optimize cost with compute that automatically scales you can build modern apps uh, your way with a uh, provisioned and uh, serverless compute options right so with Azure SQL Database Serverless simplifies performance management and helps developers focus on building apps faster and more efficiently with compute resources that automatically scale based on workload demand so that you don't do for scenarios where usage is um, intermittent or predictable, right? So how you're going to manage that sort of scenario? So so SQL database serverless is best for scenarios where usage is intermittent and uh, unpredictable and you can only pay for compute resources you use as per uh, 
second uh, as per pay and as you go basis so it's actually helping in optimizing overall price performance right so um, optimize costs with computer automatically scales right so Azure SQL database provides better price performance than uh, other cloud uh, providers so Azure SQL database meets your mission critical requirements by costing up to 80 to 85 percent lesser than the other competitors so you can use Azure hybrid benefits for SQL Server to maximize the value from your current licensing investments and you can also use your SQL Server licenses with the uh, uh, with software assurance and save up to 55% over pay as you go uh, pricing on SQL database. All right. Build and deliver modern intelligent apps faster. So you can develop uh, on pa popular platforms including Windows, Linux, Mac with uh, familiar tools like uh, Visual Studio or Azure Data Studio. You can also build intelligent applications faster using popular languages such as .NET, Java, Node.js, Ruby, PHP, and Python. You can implement CI/CD pipelines with Azure DevOps or GitHub. Yeah, and you can also combine with Azure App Service to manage and scale your entire applications and data stack. You can simplify .NET app integration with native support in SQL database and app service. Right. Now let's talk about um, SQL database security. Now you will be placing your production servers on the Azure um, SQL database right on the cloud, right? So you need to be sure that the data in the Azure SQL database is secure from the threats and is compliant, isn't it? Well, let's see what Azure SQL database provides in terms of security and compliance, right? So. It helps in uh, remediate uh, potential threats in real time with intelligent threat protection and proactive vulnerability assessment uh, alerts. Right, so it uh, gets uh, industry-leading multi-layer protection with built-in security controls, including network security, encryption, and access and key management. It takes the advantage of the most comprehensive compliance coverage for of any cloud database service. And it protects your data with always encrypted technology where encryption keys are never re revealed to the database engine. All right, great. Uh, now let's look at the deployment models, the Azure SQL uh, deployment models. So Azure SQL database is available in three deployment models, right? So it is a single database, uh, which is the most basic uh, deployment model. And it is deployed to an Azure VM and managed with a SQL uh, database server. Right. The next one is Elastic Pool. So it's uh, actually a group of connected databases that share pool resources. And the third one is Managed Instance. So it's a fully managed database instance. It is designed to enable easy migration of on-prem SQL databases. Now these deployments will come in this. Um, the various tiers right the service tiers so let's let's look and uh, each of them so it has three uh, service tiers so first one is general purpose it's designed for standard workloads and this is the default tier yeah the next one is business critical uh, that is designed for high throughput online transactional processing uh, that is OLTP applications and it offers high resiliency and low latency performance right then the next one is hyperscale it's an expansion of the business critical tier and it is designed for massive oltp implementation and enables auto scaling of compute and storage okay so in in your deployment uh, you can choose two compute models right so there are two compute models one is provisioned um, where your database uses azure resources dedicated to azure sql service and then there's the next one which is a serverless where your database is operated as a serverless compu component so you can auto scale your compute volumes that are built per second all right now let's look at the pricing models okay so so as your sql database is available in three pricing models uh, that is your database transaction unit and 
the second one is the virtual core and the third one is serverless so in this the virtual core is your recommended one because actually it helps in um, the better price control if you want to use the serverless where you don't want to uh, manage uh, worry about the managing the underlying infrastructure so you can actually go with the serverless model also now with DTU you can scale storage with compute at the same time right right with vcore you can scale storage independently with compute and any existing license can be used with vcore model right great uh, so that's all actually for this session but to, if you want to have a more understanding of uh, uh, the technology about azure sql database then here are the links which you can use to get uh, more knowledge about uh, about azure uh, sql database right all right guys um, please do subscribe to the channel and click on the like icon if you're liking these videos and feel free to share these videos to your friends and colleagues because um, our motive is to share this um, the knowledge uh, with which is free of cost all right great until next time uh, keep watching and keep learning thank you